Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My channel is called Ink Stitch and my name is Inga. Um, this is a channel about cross stitch, so anything from talking about charts, patterns, hull, whips and all of that good stuff. Um, so as we are coming towards Christmas and winter season, I thought I will show you what I have in my collection. Um, I have some kits, I have some charts, I have some kitted up things so I just thought I'll share that with you in case you're interested um I did one for Halloween so if you're interested I'll leave like a little little thing above over here so if you want to see what I have for for Halloween just click on that link and it will take you directly there um thank you so much if you're new um to this channel if you just subscribed I really appreciate you if you like what I see please feel free to press um thumbs up like button, subscription button, and bell notification. Okay, and let's get into it. I have quite a bit of stuff to show you, um, so it might be a longish video, but we'll see where we end up. So the first thing I wanted to show you is, and I apologize about the glare, it's just I couldn't set up the light any other way. Um, so this is Jim Shaw Three Kings chart, is gorgeous. Um, I think there's a bigger picture. At the, on the other side it uses so many beads it's ridiculous I have sort of kitted it up so I have the fabric for it this is from the crafty kitten I don't think she I don't think she trades anymore um, but this was a part of her sort of um, themed monthly packages if you like um, this is 32 count and then the beads are here I have all of them here we go. It didn't come from Arts and Designs, that's a lie. It came from um, 3 to one Stitch, along with the Jim Shaw buttons. There's a lot of beads. It cost a little fortune. Um, I'm not going to lie. But it's beautiful, beautiful chart. And if it's something you enjoy um, for Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas, um, in that sense where you're happy to have three kings and then obviously that's an option for you oh, i have to figure out where to put everything <laughs> the next thing i have um is dimensions kit and i'm pretty certain everybody has seen this um so this is from the gold collection and it's called christmas village ornaments so there's six. I haven't done any. The plan was to do at least one or one a year, but that didn't really work out. Uh, maybe I might do that for 2022. We will see. I really like these ones. It comes with everything. It comes with the actual gold cording. Well, with the threads to make your own cording, I believe. Um, it comes with the charts. It comes with, um, I want to say Ada. I can't remember. Is it Ada? Yeah, I'm pretty sure yes it's Ada um, so you can make your own ornaments I will very likely make them as ornaments I don't think I will do anything else with it they're gorgeous I really want to work on these so that's my dimensions kit there will be quite a few dimensions kits um, that are Christmas themed or winter themed there's one that I don't have it here because it's um, at my friend's house so it's basically minus one. <laughs> right, so um, not all of these are in the right order, so we're just gonna have to go with it and work with it. So the next one I have to show you um, is by Country Cottage Needleworks, and this is the Gingerbread Village. Um, if you've followed me for a little while, you will know that I have done a Glitter Village. Um, I don't think it was it, country cottage needleworks i can't remember i think it was not yes i'm pretty sure it was um so i have finished that one last year end of last year and it got all framed and then i've got these ones so one day the plan is to make this into a full chart as well so that i could hang both of them up so it's got quite a few quite a few charts I really love 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 doing something like this because it feels like I finish every single time I do them on one piece of fabric but it feels like I finish every time I fi kind of end up finishing one of these charts 
um, I think the Glitter Village one had three, six, maybe nine. How many are there in this one? I reckon it's nine as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine as well. So I have all of these. Um, I got them as a part of auto ship through Patchwork Rabbit, a uh, rabbit patchwork, one of those um, shops in the UK, and they came with the threads. I don't think she does it as auto ship for this one anymore. This was quite a while ago. It's got the buttons. Um, it's got everything basically you need. Here we are. So the time will come. Um, I just needed a little break since I finished the um, Glitter Village. Um, I just wanted a little bit of a break in between, but I love something like this. As I've mentioned, it just makes you feel like you're having a finish every single time you do one chart, even though you haven't finished the actual whole pattern. But these ones are beautiful. Um, I'm trying to think who it was. Um, Somebody had finished this quite a few years ago and framed it in a huge wooden red frame. It looked gorgeous. So that could be an option one day for me. Or might just frame it in the same frame as my Glitter Village so they both match up. Sorry about the cringling. Um, I just want to be fairly tidy because there's quite a lot to show you. Also, I broke my nails. So I apologise for the weird looking thumb. Okay, Doug, so the next is um, this little, um, I don't know, almost said a kit. It's not a kit. Again, it's a series. Um, it's Jack Frost Tree Farm series by Little House Needleworks. Again, as I've said to you before, I really like this kind of stuff where you've got one chart and you feel like you're finishing something, even though the whole fabric, you know, you haven't finished the actual whole charts. Um, again, got it as an auto ship. Here we are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These ones don't have threads with them, so these were just charts. Um, but they're beautiful. Again, the time will come one day. Not anytime soon. I just like to have these as a whole. Um, I really like getting things as an auto ship and then just paying monthly for each chart. I just think that's kind of it's quite easy for me to do and then I can collect the entire series so that's that um, then just a couple of charts so this one now I saw Brenda from oh, I'm really bad remembering YouTube channel names um, if I remember, I'll link it down below, um, but if you watch her, she's been on Flosstube for quite a little while. Her name is Brenda. Um, she has um, quite a few children. Her daughter's Stitch as well, um, and it's very fun to watch her. So maybe a couple of years ago, I want to say now, she'd posted a Flosstube update with her finishing this specific chart. And I believe she stitched it on 28 count even weave. So it was tiny, minute. And she said she will um, frame this as a picture rather than as a ornament, which is what I'm trying to do as well. Um, as soon as I saw her doing this, I thought, oh, I have to get it. So I ran to Etsy and I found this. So it comes with the actual beads. I don't think I'll use these, but everything's in there. I'm really excited about that one one day. Then a little chart from the blue flower. Again, it's kind of Christmassy, so I thought I'll add this to the pile. It's called Winter Squirrel. Um, it came out not too long ago, I would say. I don't have any threads or anything. Here is what you would need. So it uses gentle art threads and crescent color works. Um, crescent colors, I'll probably just convert it to DMC and just use the DMC conversions on the side here. Beautiful. Okay, um, let's move on. So this is by Plum Street Samplers and it's called Pomegranate Santa. Love it. Again, I watched somebody on Floss Tube. I can't remember who it was. Oh, again, my memory is so bad. Uh, but whoever it was, oh, it was, um, I'm pretty sure 
it was Michelle Bendy. I'm pretty sure it was Michelle Bendy. Um, and she said how obsessed she is with pomegranates at the moment, especially Christmas pomegranates. Um, and I love this chart. It made me think of it. I got this chart at the knitting and stitching show and I will insert a link of me going to the knitting and stitching show in London earlier this month or no in October uh, but I filmed my experience I filled my haul so I'll put a link somewhere above here so if you want to click on that um, and have a look what I bought but this was one of the charts I love it I think it's the only thing I have from Plum Street Samplers I have a feeling then the next chart I have is this one over here. This is, this is designed by Teresa Wensler. Um, I got this on Stash and Load, I believe. Um, you know, it's gorgeous. Um, let me see. It's, I probably won't take it out of the packaging, but you've got a sled, beautiful, and it's sort of like a long chart. So you've got, is this a horse or a unicorn? I think that's a horse. And it's sort of like a long sampler if you like well a long stitch um Teresa uses a lot of blended threads so I don't think I'll ever want to stitch this if you like um and if I do it will be a slow process this is more for col for my collection um okay doke let's move on so the next one I have is by Autumn Lane Stitchery this came out um, it was COVID time, so I would want to say yes. I'm pretty sure it came out in March for the needlework market in 2020 because I remember ordering for this from Top Knot Stitcher and it was COVID and we had to isolate. I remember that. I love this. Um, I'm not a huge fan of sort of, um, how to put this, like computerized look. Uh, when it's graphics is done by the computer on the computer if if it makes any sense what I'm trying to say but I really like this one um, it's really really pretty they do have this as a PDF but I have it as a hard copy next one is by Leela Studio and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen at least their Halloween Quaker and this one is their holiday Quaker I really love this it says happy holidays in the middle has a lot of Quakers has a lot of Christmassy colors I'm not sure if I would change the colors a little bit I'm not a massive fan of the ones that they used um, but the time will come it's quite a big piece came out in 2018 um, here is what you would need so it doesn't use too many colors um, it does use some DMC's gentle arts um, so yeah I'm not sure the time will come but I do have it because I really really love it and I think it's a good thing to have in your Christmas collection now the next one was my sort of again COVID isolation purchase um, there used to be a shop very close to where I live and unfortunately it closed down during COVID um, oh I've got a little bit down um, it closed down during COVID and they were trying to get rid of all the stock um, so this is and I got this all online um, I think the lady who owned the shop she just posted it online I got this from her now to my understanding this is quite a rare piece um, you can get a different one similar to this but in sort of like an egg like a Fabergé egg um, and that one is super rare and super expensive this one is rare too but not as rare as the other one um, I really love it now it's Saint Basil's Cathedral it's beautiful it's gorgeous it's, it was designed in 2001 wow little while ago now I'm not sure if I will ever stitch this because um, this is obviously a religious piece if you like and I'm um, I'm a Catholic so this isn't really for me but I really love the colors and I thought well who knows maybe one day I will want to stitch this or if I think about selling it I'll sell it who knows who knows right next I have again from the same shop so I'm just trying to skip through these now. Um, the next one I have is Fuji from the same shop. I didn't pay that, I paid less. This was the actual retail price. Um, I love this for Christmas and I might pick this up fairly soon. It's 
it was released in 2000 but this is the website i'm not sure if this website is still in the in out there in the world because obviously this is quite a, an old pattern uh, paper pattern oh there's a lot of dmcs actually for something so small hmm but i really love that let's move on the next one i have is this one which i adore i love this one but as soon as i saw it somebody showed it on their floss chip i believe i absolutely adored it i love the christmas scenery um i love the house it just makes me think of maybe andorra or switzerland i've been to both and i just love it it's called rocky mountain christmas by marty bell it says chart pack 370 i'm not sure why that says it because this is only the actual chart there's no you know there's no f uh, fabric or floss in there then i have so i'm trying to skip through these because this video is going to be a long one um next i have kringles by little house needleworks now this came out oh i don't know again it came out for the needlework market i want to say in 2020 october maybe um i got this one with some dmcs I didn't get the classic color works it comes with it should be it should have classic color works but I only got DMCs and I thought I can top up with the rest later it's gorgeous again it's I'm not stitching it at the moment but I love 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 this one just gives me lovely feels <laughs> then I have this one which is uh, by Bella Filipina and it's called the star of Christmas so here we are so I know you can see the round ring lights I'm just trying to I'm really sorry it's just there's no other way I can do it it's gorgeous it does use a lot of oh I haven't opened it so I'm not going to show you that yet but it has a lot of beads a lot of treasures a lot of everything and it came out in 2019 why that seems like it was yesterday love this one and Hawkin Hobbies have uh packs for beads and floss for this chart so go and check them out the next few charts are from lavender and lace now this is in particular christmassy um it's you know it's called what's it called what's it called mm, i think this is winter angel but i really love this and my mom adores this my mom's birthday is on 14th of december so she loves sort of anything that's winter related and she fell in love with this chart so i thought i'll get it and maybe one day i can stitch it for her um then i'll just put it on the side see if that will work then i have again uh from lavender and lace here we are this little guy here which I thought was very beautiful. It looks very tiny, but it's actually quite a big piece when stitched. Um, and in here, is, it has a little verse and it says, um, what does it say? Oh, Santa, dear Santa, your work is all done. The presents are given. It's time for some fun. Relax by the fire. Enjoy the bright tree. Another year's over for, for three and for me. Gorgeous. Love this one. Uh, what is, what's it called? Does it have a name? I don't think it does on here. Oh, it does on the back, on the back. Here's the name, Secret Santa. Here we are. I love this one. Again, most of these are used. I bought them used because I don't think they trade anymore. And then the next one, this one isn't actually used. It's still sealed. Uh, lavender and lace. Again, Santa with some animals love it it's called santa of the forest um and the next one is another santa by lavender and lace i believe i've heard that this is massive when stitched um and it's called the spirit of christmas love it um the next few will be just nan um i keep it in the sort of plastic wallet if you like so we'll go through some of these okie doke let's see what we have i don't know why but for some reason i kept keep saying okie doke today hmm interesting okay right so um these are the little little ornaments i got them on 
um, I got them from eBay, I believe. I thought they would make lovely gifts, little ornaments. They have beads as well. It wasn't too much. I think it was like five pounds on eBay or something like that. This one's my favorite. This would be the one that I would keep. Love it. And then the next one is their uh, ice, one of their ice cubes. Again, it comes with the beads and little treasures. It doesn't come with the actual snowflake pin that's here at the top, but I'm pretty sure I can make something like this. The next one is the Amethyst Snowflake. Again, this is a chart with their um, bead pack. I love all of their snowflakes. The next snowflake is Ice Blossom. When I saw this, I totally fell in love with it. Um, I believe I got them from a shop somewhere here in the UK, but it's gorgeous can't wait to one day stitch this um i think i've got more snowflakes but oh here we go let's go to the snowflake first so this one's a little bit different because it's a, they just changed the the formatting so it's a big chart this one's like a a5 and this one's an a4 um this is a fairly new release i believe it was only released this year or last end of last year and it's called does it have a name oh, i'm holding it upside down oh the beads come on Crystal Roses, and then as always it comes with the beads. The next one I have, I got on eBay. It's called Merry Gentlemen. I love, 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 love this one. Does it, did it come with beads? No, it didn't come with beads. Um, does it have any beads? Let's see, it has one crying. Yes, it does have embellishments. It's got white pearl bead, gold crystal bead, and red white bead. Um, oh well, I'm sure I can match it up with something it's gorgeous i love them they're so adorable look at those santas the next one i have is the eyes garden again comes with all the beads i love just now i haven't stitched any in all fairness of just nans just because there's always something else that i want to stitch but they are gorgeous i love the colors in this one. Oh, another snowflake Hmm, I've got a feeling I got it mistaken. I think this is the one that came out this year. It's called Queen's Snowflake. And again, it has all the lovely, gorgeous beads. Coco, no. My kitten is trying to tag all the charts. Um, it's beautiful. It uses all sort of pinks and reds and whites. No, Coco, it's not for you. Um, the following one is Christmas Jewel. I got this on eBay. I really like it. It was fairly cheap and I thought it was quite nice. Maybe, I, I, I don't think I would stitch it as a whole. I would probably stitch just one quadrant and make it into a little ornament. Then I've got Snowflake Christmas again, eBay purchase. Oh, this isn't Christmassy, so we'll skip through that, skip through that uh and these ones are Christmassy so I loved this one I saw somebody changed colors and used teals and pinks to make this and it looked gorgeous now the only thing is I do have uh beads for it it came with the beads and they are sort of reds and greens so if I was to change the color obviously then it would the beads wouldn't really fit the chart then the following one is Christmas elegance. Do I have beads for it? Let's have a look. Do I have beads for this? I think I do. Yes, I do. It came with the beads. It's absolutely gorgeous. No, Coco. Off. It's not for you, sweetie. Um, really like this one. I believe somebody was stitching it. And I saw it on the world of floss tube. And then another sock from similar collection, that's Roses for St. Nicholas. Uh, I keep seeing these on eBay, so it's fairly easy to find them and purchase them if you're interested. And I think that's it in terms of Christmassy Just Nans. Um, I really do love Just Nan. However, I feel like a lot of their stuff, um, they're all the tired, I think, most of them. So when you want something, 
well not all of them but sort of the older ones obviously are retired so you kind of have to hunt for it on eBay and Etsy and all those places which you know it means the prices are higher than they used to be for their charts and it's it's frustrating but we are where we are right so let's be tidy um let's get this all out of the way you should see coco she's laying on all the charts on the floor bless her okay no it's not for you coco so sweet um next one is the only sort of christmasy kit from um, owl forest embroidery i have quite a few kits from them but they're not I mean they're not Christmassy so here we are this is the goodness me it's only you it doesn't have English translation for you on here it has on the back if you're interested they have these kits in smaller sort of quadrants if you like but I really like the the full effect here we are now a little pause let's see if i can plug the camera in because the actual battery on this camera doesn't want to stay on for a long time let's have a look let's plug that in okay so we are plugged in now um the next kit i wanted to show you i think we'll have quite a few dimensions kits now so this one is um, from their gold collection and it's called Santa's Nap. Um, now I believe this is out of print but it has been re-released in Russian speaking countries so there's quite a few Russian eBay sellers and you can get it from them. I got mine from somebody who lives in the UK though but I have seen a lot of these on eBay as I say from Russian speaking countries because it has been re-released. So that's that one. Then I got this one and I love it. It's not from their gold collection, it's just the generic dimensions kit and it's called Santa Express. I love it, it's very sweet. Um, I love these greens and yellows. I love the shading in this. If you can see, it goes from sort of really light green to darker to darker to darker. And you've got a Santa in here on the side. Love this kit adore it i got mine again on ebay so i didn't pay full price now the next one again got this one on ebay it's no longer on sale so you kind of have to hunt <laughs> hunt for it and it is expensive um i couldn't find it for cheap so i did pay good money for it but i love it because it has kittens i mean come on if you know me you know cats are everything to me so here we are comes with everything comes with is this ada yeah it comes with ada floss chart etc love it love it love it next one is again from the gold collection dimensions gold collection this is called alan mailey's gracious era um, now this isn't much of a Christmassy kit, it's more like a wintery kit. I really love this, it's very much Victorian. Um, I love the whole, it, I don't know why, it reminds me sort of of England back in, back in those days. I love her dress and I love that snow that's all over. Um, I hope they're not French knots, I don't think they are. It's beautiful. I have a full kit. Let's move on. Oh guys, okay, we're going down the pile, which is good. So the next one is this one, which is from the gold collection and it's called Windswept Traveller. Now this is quite a rare one because it, well, the blue one is a rare, rarer, <laughs> rarer, uh, more rare than the red one. I got very lucky. There was a gentleman on Facebook marketplace he was selling it because his wife had passed away I believe and he was selling it for £20 um, each kit so I got it for £20 and it goes for a lot of money on eBay um, but I absolutely love it so gorgeous I love that blue colour love 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 it so that's that now my cat is on the desk so she oh here we go here's the little paw come on say hello can I come here? Coco. 
Come here, say hello. Let's see if I can put her in the frame to say hello. Oh, hello, baby. Hi. Mummy has to film. Come on, off you go. I know, I know, I know. Off you go. Off you go. Here we go. <laughs> the next one I have is the red one. So this one's again from the Gould collection and this is called Windswept Santa. Now, as I said, this is still quite rare, but it's not as rare as the blue one. Um, I love it. Again, it comes with everything. The char, ada, floss, everything is inside. Next, um, I have some socks. So this one's Holy Night Stocking. I got this on eBay um, just because for some reason this is quite an expensive kit otherwise. I'm not sure why it's more expensive than other socks, but it is. Um, I really love this. I love nativity scenes. Um, they're just so gorgeous, so beautiful. Reminds me of being home and going to a church um, at Christmas. I just, I just love it. I just love it. Just love it. The next one is a sock as well. Um, it's this one here. It's called Santa Snow Globe. It's dimensions from the their gold collection. Love it. Love, love, love it. Especially the snow globe. I feel like I could stitch the snow globe separately into an ornament. You could absolutely do that because there's nothing, you know, you just stitch that bit all the way around. That would make a beautiful ornament as well. So that's the stocking, not the sock. Why do I keep saying socks? They're stockings. Um, next, if we're talking dimensions, I have some petites that are Christmassy. Sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. So this one's a Holy Nativity. Um, and now this is an old kit that got re-released last year for Christmas. You can still get it from some eBay sellers, I believe. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And Luda from, is it Luda Stitches? I'm sure you know who Luda is. She stitched this one and it looks gorgeous. All the floss and everything is in here. I believe it was something like 25 pounds or around that amount. The next one is this one, it's called Christmas Stories. Again, it got re-released for last year. Gorgeous, gorgeous kit, love it. And it says Christmas Stories on the back over here, I love it. I love this little baby girl, look at her and her little teddy. And the Santa is so beautiful, such a gorgeous Santa. That's that. Then I have this one again, as I've said to you before, I love Nativity and this is Holy Night. It wasn't re-released so I got this on eBay from America. Um, so it's American, um, you know, American kind of package. Um, I'm not sure when it was released, does it say? 2002. Wow, but I really love this. Gorgeous. And I think you can still get it on eBay. You can get everything on eBay if you just observe long enough. The next one is this one. Again, it wasn't released. I got this from eBay. It's from 1998. It's an ornament. It's called a Santa with Friends ornament. There's a few different ornaments that you can get, but this was my favorite one. I love it. Love the lion, love the sheep. Is there a sheep? Love it. It's gorgeous. It comes with everything. It comes with gold thread, so you could make your own cording. I might just buy gold cording. I don't I don't like making it myself, it's too faffy for me. Then the next one is this one. Um, again, got it on eBay. It hasn't been re-released. Um, it's from 1998, same as the previous one. I love it. So gorgeous. Look at the snowman and all the animals around and this little squirrel. Oh, so adorable. I love the sky and the sort of it reminds me of Aurora or something along those lines. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, next one is a re-released one, again from last year. It's called Santa's Feathered Friend. <sighs> so gorgeous. I love this light. That's what makes... I love how the light is sort of reflecting on the beard. So there's a little bit of yellow on the beard and his face. And I just love that. Comes with everything. The usual. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, let's move on. We don't have that many left. <laughs> um, the next one is this one here. This is my Anchor Maya collection. 
Um, this is Thomas Kincaid piece, um, and I think you can get this as a chart only from Heaven and Earth Designs, but I like this charting better. I feel like it more concentrates on the actual house, whereas Heaven and Earth Design, it concentrates on like a piece as a whole, but it's, it could be just me, I could be imagining this is what the whole piece will look like. It's called A Holiday Gathering and the code in case you need it. Um, because it's a kit, it obviously comes with everything, all the floss and Ada and cards and etc. Here we are. Love it. Love, 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 love it. Oh, you should see the mess on the floor. Um, the next one is a Russian kit from Panna. This was so popular in around, I want to say 2018, 2017, 2018. I bought it from what used to be um, so-and-so shop in the UK. I think it was so-and-so. I'm pretty sure it was. You can now get it from All Crafts. I think so-and-so got bought by All Crafts. And you can still get it there or from eBay. But because everybody was doing this, I never actually stitched it. I'm one of those people that if everybody is stitching something I won't want to stitch it then I'll have to wait years and years and years until I actually get to it I love this one if you haven't seen this kit it's gorgeous um, it has little houses and this is all sort of um, it's not felt what is it it's basically not stitched you have to attach all of this yourself but it's all in here in the kit it's gorgeous Next, um, next I'll show you these ones. I have a fourth one, but I am stitching a fourth one, so it's not in here, but it's very similar. So these are from Jar Ptica, which is a Russian um, cross-stitch uh, manufacturer, maker, and these are ornaments, beaded ornaments. My favorite one is the blue, then green, then red one, the one I'm making at the moment. They come with everything, with plastic canvas, beads, etc. I really love these ones, they're gorgeous and you can make two. Um, it's up to you how you want to make it, maybe you want to make two and double side them so you've got beautiful two sides or have them as two ornaments. They are gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Everything is gorgeous, I love Christmas. And then I've got Mill Hill kits that are wintery kits. I have done my Mill Hill collection um, a little while ago. So if you're interested to see all of my Mill Hill kits, not just the Christmassy ones, I'll put a link somewhere above here. So go and check it out. So we'll start with this one. It's sort of the whole half of the, well, most of the collection. Um, this is Snowman with Cardinal. Again, regular, as regular, it comes with all the flosses and beads and plastic canvas. Now, I don't think I'll stitch this on the actual plastic canvas. I'll, I think I'll stitch this on fabric. The same goes for others that are coming. So this one's Nordic Santa from the same collection. Then this is Kitty from the same collection. Again, I'll stitch this on fabric. Then we've got Nordic Snowman. And then we've got Santa with Cardinal. Um, they are very similar Santas, let me just show you, but they are different at the same time. Here we are. There's a couple more if you're interested in terms of this collection. There's another, there's a dog. So you've got, we've got Kitty and there's a dog one, but I don't have a dog. I'm, I love dogs, but I had a fear of dog, a phobia of dogs for a very long time. So I thought I'm not going to go for that. Um, and then there is a penguin one, which somehow I missed and I really want that one. So I might get a penguin one at some point in time. So these are all Mill Hill kits. Okie doke, let's move on. Again, I have two, three things left to show you. So I have, this is the only uh, Cricut uh, item from the Cricut collection that's Christmas themed that I own. Um, it's gorgeous. It's all the snowmen. What's it called? It's called Winter Circle. And I got this from eBay, I think. It's gorgeous. I'm not sure if I like the colours for the actual clothes, 
they are a little bit muted and dark for my liking so I might change them but it's beautiful I'm trying to see if it says when it was released but I don't think it does the number is 142 oh guys that was a lot to show you okay so the next one is this one and it's absolutely gorgeous I saw somebody stitching this on last year on Facebook loved it when I bought it and then I found somebody who's stitching it at the moment on Instagram and I think I screenshotted it so if I did I'll put a link of their stitching in here well in in here somewhere um, if I can find it but it's gorgeous 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 it this photo doesn't do it justice when you see it actually stitched it looks divine it just the reds are gorgeous I think it has some crinics let me just check does it have any crinics um, so this is what you would need. Wow, there's a lot of DMCs. Got some blended colours. It's got some beads, Mill Hill beads. Yep. So it's got one, two, three, four Mill Hill beads. Back stitching. It has metallic as well. It's got crinics. So it's got it's got four crinics. It's a full on piece, but it comes as a booklet. It's gorgeous. And then they've got a few others on the back. Mm, not a big fan of the rest in all fairness but I really love this one here we go and finally last but not least is another Gymshaw chart which I got at the same time as I got the Three Kings one so this is called Santa's Workshop um, and very similar to the Three Kings one it has um, beads on like little beads on the sides so you would have to get that from one two three stitch it has beads I believe or oh, does it have beads I thought it does let's have a look let's have a look yes it does let me just see how can I show you without showing the chart it's got a lot of beads and buttons the usual the usual a lot of DMCs and all sorts but it's beautiful it's definitely worth it so that is it um we are at 42 minute mark hopefully it will be a little bit shorter once i edit it i hope you will enjoy this um let me know down in the comments if you are if you have been enabled if you're buying any of these or if you haven't been enabled let me know what are your thoughts on your next purchases what are you thinking of buying for christmas in terms of cross stitch thank you so much for joining me please press the like button subscribe button um bell for to be notified of my videos um, i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time bye